Polynomials, polynomials. They're back again on the AMCs. Let's take a look at how to solve this problem. Let p of x be a polynomial with rational coefficients, such that when p of x is divided by the polynomial x squared plus x plus 1, the remainder is x plus 2. What does that mean? Well, the remainder, x plus 2, p of x is essentially equal to this remainder, plus, let's just say the constant a. We don't know what a is. It's not necessarily a constant. It could be anything. It could be 3x. It could be 5. So a, it's something. It's not necessarily a number, though. a times x squared plus x plus 1, because it leaves this remainder when divided by this. But p of x is also 2x plus 1 plus b times x squared plus 1. Oh, but these, they're equal, right? Okay. Let, let's see. Let's expand both sides. This first side is ax squared plus ax plus an additional x. So plus a plus 1x. And then plus a plus 2. This over here is bx squared plus 2x plus b plus 1, right? And these are equal, those two expressions. a equals b. Or does necessarily a equal b, first of all? Is that even true? Well, okay, the thing is A actually does not necessarily equal B, and that's a common mistake to make, because A, because what if, what if this A term here is something like 5x or something? Because A is not necessarily a constant, it could be something like 5x. So if A is something like 5x, then now we've got more x squared terms, so we can't do that. But you know what we can do is see that Everything here is a multiple of x. Everything here is a multiple of x. The only constant parts are a plus 2 and b plus 1. So the constants must be equal. Okay, so that's something we do know for sure. And the reason we don't know a equals b was, like I said earlier, a does not, not necessarily a constant. And a, if, if it's something like x, then now we've already got an additional x squared term. So a plus 2 equals b plus 1, a plus 1 equals b. Okay, that's cool. Let's substitute that in, okay? b is a plus 1, right? Let's just write that here. b equals a plus 1. We'll box it. It's a really important fact. So then we have a plus 1, x squared, plus 2x, plus a plus 2, equals ax squared, plus a times x, or equal to a plus 1, x plus a plus 2. And we can obviously cancel out a plus 2 from both sides. And then we have a x squared plus x squared plus 2x equals a x squared plus a x plus x. We cancel out a squared, and now we're left with x squared equals a plus 1x minus 2x, so a minus 1x. We cancel out x from both sides. x is a minus 1, or a is x plus 1. So if a is x plus 1, then we can plug it in here to get our polynomial. x plus 1, x squared, plus a is x plus 1, so x plus 2, x, and then Again, because a is x plus 1, this is x plus 3. So x cubed plus x squared plus x squared plus 2x plus x plus 3. x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 3. This is our polynomial. We have 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 3 squared is 9 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1. That is 23, our answer for this problem. The key idea here 
was noticing that a and b were not constants. And when you divide by x squared plus x plus 1 and x squared plus 1, we have this remaining part. So we just let these two quantities be equal, and then we saw that the constants have to be equal. Not necessarily these terms, but the constants did. And then we plugged it in, and we got that indeed a was not a constant, it was x plus 1. And then we simply plug it in, and expand, and find our answer, 23. A great polynomial problem.